Aitchison and then to Hurd, still Hurd, and she's over! Still going, that's amazing! Abby Dow! Hello and a very warm welcome to O2 Inside Line Live. My name is Ashley Wilmot and it's a pleasure to be here ready for round four of the Guinness Women's Six Nations, England against Ireland. And I'm alongside Shauna Brown, former Red Rose, current Harlequins player. Shauna, how are you? I'm very good and just looking forward to today, looking forward to the occasion. Can't wait to see the girls smash it, I'm sure of it. I know. But yeah, it's, it's great. It's a big day. It's going to be a great day out. Great day out. Great day out. <laughs> And not just about the rugby, is it? It's about the halftime show. And I'm delighted to introduce into our little studio the singer songwriter Sophie Ellis Dexter. Hello, hello. You look amazing. <laughs> How are you? Give her a round of applause, everyone. You look stunning. Thank you. Can you give so us do you? As well? Hey. Oh, lovely. She's warm and sparkling. <laughs> We've been so looking forward to talking to you, Yay, and there's been a lot of buzz you. about your halftime show. How much have you been looking forward to it? Oh, it's amazing. I mean, I've been lucky enough to perform at Twickenham before, but I was outside on a stage just outside of what they call the fan village. So actually being on the pitch is pretty cool. So now you've and, been upgraded. Um, what and, you're and I'd like to go back to me, sort of age like 13 in PE, and say, you are going to make it onto a, a stadium pitch, but not in the way maybe that your PE teacher would like. So, <laughs> so growing up, was sport a part of your life? You know what, if I'm honest, it wasn't until my 20s that I really discovered what sport meant to me. I think we've got a different relationship with girls and sport now. But when I was young, it wasn't given the same space and respect and gravitas, I don't think. It was like, if you were naturally sporty, you went and did it. Yeah. And otherwise it was like, oh, don't worry, you can go and do other things. But I think now we really recognize where there's so many benefits as you're growing up and what it means to get involved. And getting you out here, it's not just, today's not just about rugby. It's, it's the music, it's the entertainment, it's the family. Yeah. How much of that, like, how, how does that bring sport to you? And how much does that bring sport to people who, like you say, didn't grow up doing it or playing it? How do you feel about the people that are here now today? Well, it's involving everyone. It's just appreciating the spectacle. Watching people do things live is always exciting. Watching yeah. people really good at sport is exciting. Watching live musicians is exciting. And it's the thing you can't replicate anywhere else, you know? And hopefully everybody that's here today will remember the day they were here watching this. That's what you're hoping for, isn't it? Yeah. Like, and yeah. watching you. What have you got <laughs> on the set list, Sophie? Well, I've only been given 10 minutes, oh. so I've had to be a bit creative. But don't worry, I think you'll find gives you enough to hopefully keep a pep in the step of everybody for the for the half time and keep them wanting more to maybe exactly. come to one of your sellout tours as well oh there you go that's a nice <laughs> idea and just keep them cheering for the teams and yeah oh we can't wait and are you looking forward to the game as well definitely i brought some of my kids with me they're super oh. excited watching these guys you know doing their warming up like so impressive yeah well we cannot wait thank you so much for joining us thank sophie you. i'm happy to be here enjoy your day here at twickenham thank you, thank you we'll let you go there's lots of people okay. who want lots of pictures go and, go and warm up or something <laughs> yeah <laughs> thank you oh wow she looks amazing doesn't I she i just looking at her dress just looking at her i try, find it hard to look at her face because i'm just like whoa i know she looks beautiful <laughs> yeah. it's yeah. so good that yeah. she's come to join us here on o2 inside line live and i can see a few more guests in the uh, in the wings there. Straight in. It is Gladiator Central. Hello. Hello. Hi. How, are how are you? Good, thank you. How are you? Libby and Matty. Yes. You've already got your tops on. Yeah. Got them. Rep in the red rose. Do you want to give us got a 12? Them. Show your Bionic. name, your number. Diamonds. Diamonds on. Yeah. There we go. Did, did you got get it. to choose your number? Yes. Why, why number nine? It's becoming a lucky number nice. with soccer aids and everything like that coming up. Yeah. Nice, nice, nice. So, have you guys sorry, been to Twickenham before? This is my first time. Wow. I've never been, yeah, it looks amazing. I'm really excited to be fair. Where have you been? True, true. <laughs> I've been more of a football man, but you know, yeah. I'm here to support the girls and yeah, can't, can't wait oh, to see it. Well, you know, we welcome everyone, all yeah. newbies yeah. and oldies. Super excited, can't, can't wait. Can't bring our visitors as well. Yeah. Especially like an hour before kickoff. Like, I know. Yeah. The and atmosphere it'll be, here is amazing, isn't it? Yeah, and even it'll be outside as well still. So like I said, there's not that many people in here yet, but yeah. outside will be going off. And, and I know a big difference for the girls when they when they drive in is having people around. And it's just think people actually come in to watch your yeah. game. It's, a, it's, it's yeah. an incredible so feeling. And we've been loving gladiators, guys. Yeah. Probably not as much as you. You look like you're having the best time. You were made for these roles. So much fun. How's yeah. your life changed? Um, yeah, it's just 
the support has been incredible, hasn't it? Amazing. I mean, we, we knew we did well from the yeah. filming, but not being able to show that for so long after the filming. And now everyone's seeing it. The nostalgia's there, but we've just put like that modern twitch on it. And yeah, yeah it's, it's worked, so yeah. we, we can't wait to do it and, again. And get everybody wanting season two, which season has officially two. been announced. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Cool. yeah. You should uh, get, get yourselves involved there. Get, yeah, get, get involved. what, as gladiators? You yeah. an invite, because we will be there. Apply <laughs> <laughs> for contenders, come up against, well, come up against me, and yeah. Oh, amazing. I think we've just got a personal invite. I, that, yeah, and we've got it filmed. So, we've got it filmed on So camera. we've got the proof. We will be there, cheering you guys <laughs> yes. on next Thank time. So yeah. Um, now, we'd like to put you to a, a little challenge that we do here on the show. It's called Back to Front. Um, uh, we'll give you a li little demonstration. Well volunteered, oh, no Shauna. Back, here we okay. go. Back to front. I'm a little bit nervous. I'll hold this for you. <laughs> so essentially you've got 20 seconds. The ball must start at the back. You've okay. got to pop it to the front. There we go. Pop it to the back. So that's one, two, three, four. Shauna's pretty good at this. And so on, okay? I'm ready to embarrass myself. 20 seconds. <laughs> 20 seconds. Okay. We'll count you down. Yeah, I'll Who go. wants to go we'll first? Yes, Diamond. Me. Thank you. And we know how competitive you guys are. Start from the back. So I'm going to count you down from three. Yeah, no, it's all no right. Pressure. It's okay. No pressure. Okay. Right. Three, two, one. Let's go. One. one. Two. Nice. Three. Oh, easy. Four. Ah! Oh, oh, oh. Can, we, <laughs> we got to go for the game. Four. Five. Six. six. Seven. Seven. This is good. Oh. Eight. <laughs> Three, eight, two, eight, eight. one. <laughs> I don't know what was. What do we what give her? The executive. Is, I um, go. Should we say a seven? Fair, I, I don't. Really? Eight. I don't think we'll get eight. Eight. Okay. We'll eight. We'll go eight. I'm not sure if you're allowed to, to take an eight if you've dropped it, but you know what? We make the rules up here. So, are you ready? Can you beat that? Yeah. My shoulder mobility isn't the best. Uh, we're about to find out. I'm ready to embarrass myself. OK, let me take this. Good luck. Come on, Bionic. Show them what you're made of. Right, we're going to count you down. Yeah. 20 seconds. Three, two, one. Let's go. One, two, three. Whoa. Alternative technique. Ooh. Four, four. <laughs> five, six. Pop it up. Seven. Seven. Nice. Eight. Eight. <laughs> Nine. Getting it over those shoulders is hard, isn't it? Ten. <laughs> ten. Oh, ten. Oh, ten. Ten. We're going at well ten. Well done. Great effort. How was it? Harder than it looks. Harder than it looks. Well, yeah. we like to put you through your paces. Try to get in between the power and the coordination. <laughs> it's harder than Gladiators, that. <laughs> that should be a new game. What are you going to do now, guys? Where are you off to? Uh, we're going to sit back and relax. <laughs> yeah. I think, yeah, we can't wait. You can't genuinely wait. are out of breath, aren't you? No. <laughs> I don't think you are. Did you actually Soda. breathe during that? Or did you just no, not breathe? No, I think it's held my breath the whole time, that's why. Yeah, <laughs> Look, guys, we won't, we won't make you do anything it's else. It's the off-season. It's the off-season. <laughs> you enjoy yourself. Have a fantastic day here at Twickenham. Thank, Thank you. So cheers. Much. Thank, Thank you for Thank joining you. us. Right. It's not just here where we're giving you a little sneak peek of everyone here at Twickenham, but also our weekly all-in show gives you a little behind-the-scenes action from what's been happening in camp. Take a look at this. I'm Amy Elna O'Keefe. I am the performance nutritionist for England Red Roses, and it is my mission and passion to make the Red Roses the best field team in the world. This is my first Six Nations, so I only ever heard about what the competition is like, but being in it <laughs> is, um, yeah, keeps you on your toes. But my objective is to ensure that the players are educated, trying to really simplify performance nutrition, because I think a lot of people think it's this really complicated, complex area, and it, re it really, really isn't. <laughs> <laughs> Meg is short for Maganwi Guru Huenin, which is her full <laughs> name in Welsh. Okay, um, say, do you uh, want to repeat the name? Yeah, sorry, do you one more time, actually. Go on, one more time. Can I hear my birth name again? Maganwi Guru Huenin. Is that good? Is that how you feel? Can yeah. Meg say it, sorry? Can Meg say it? Yeah, Maganwi Huelin Guru. Great. <laughs> 
We love watching the All In show. We just say they're so funny, aren't they? They make us laugh. Do make sure to go and watch the full episodes on England Rugby's YouTube channel. Now, it is pumping in here, isn't it, Shauna? And louder, and louder, and louder. I can't wait. I'm just, I feel like I'm just soaking it all in. We're expecting 50,000 people here today. Yeah, and part of the date is exactly that. And it was mentioned earlier, just, just literally stopping, taking a moment to just look around and see yeah. the people, the different shirts, the different groups, the, the buggies, the wheelchairs, like all life exists yeah. here at England Rugby today. Oh, that's so nice. It is just like a generational thing. You've got yeah. like your little kids, you've yeah. got your grandparents, everyone is welcome. And I feel like women's sport does that. It just brings people out of the woodwork, which we absolutely want. Yeah. yeah, and we're here for it. We're not trying to convert old fans. We want new people to rugby to help our sport grow our game. And also let our women just show off. Because so often we're like, oh, we'll just we'll just be modest. We're okay at rugby. These women are fantastic at rugby. Yeah. We want to see as many people playing, making a play as possible. And I've got to say, we do have a really exciting guest next. Yes, a do. Hollywood star is here. I try not to fangirl too much. He's in my eye line. Uh, <laughs> you'll definitely recognise him. He's one half of the Wheezy Twins. He played George, please. Give him a warm welcome. It's Oliver Phelps. Hello. Here we go. How Oliver. you doing? Thank you so much for coming. Yeah, yeah. Thank you so much for having me. This is amazing. Uh, isn't it? Yeah. You're looking good. You've got Thank your you. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to dress the part anyway. Yeah, can this you, is can you give us a 12? Have you got anything yeah. on the no, back? No, nothing on the back. Nothing oh, on the back. Oh, you make the cut, Oliver. I need to. It's why, it's why, it's why I'm going oh. this way the whole way. You know, yeah. <laughs> now, you're a big rugby fan, aren't you? Because you've been getting around a little bit England Day. You've been at Hong Kong Sevens. That's it, yeah. So, um, yeah, always been a big, big rugby fan for many years. Um, I was out in Hong Kong. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, which was incredible, like watching watching the Sevens game. So definitely recommend anyone going to see that as well. And uh, my daughter's just got playing into club rugby. She's seven, and I've somehow got roped into on the coaching stuff. I thought it was just going to be laying cones out. I've done RFU coaches and concussion everything since. So, so yeah, it's you're exciting. So official RFU level two coach. Yeah. And scary, you're, isn't so it? You're all yeah, in. yeah, scary. You're all in. Yeah. So, who are you here with today? You mentioned your daughter. Is she here? And who else are you here with? Yes, here, with the, here with my daughter, and here with one of her school friends as well, and, and her and his dad. And yeah, just really excited to watch, see what, see what the girls are going to do today. I'm hoping for a really good game. What's been the best part of the day so far for you, or, or for your daughter, more importantly? What has she judged? Like, oh my yeah. gosh, has she seen Bugs Bunny? Is what I'm getting at. <laughs> has she seen, no, she hasn't, no. Well, no. They're right over there. <laughs> oh, she has now. Yeah, she has now. Yeah. <laughs> she has. Um, as you can I think, to be honest, just being pitch side and seeing them do their thing in the warm-up and seeing how they're going through their routine is such a great experience to be able to see and let's not forget the crowd what's going to be here today it's such a great achievement for the game and just seeing where it's going to as well yeah, yeah, yeah. i've got to say on your social media i did see that you and your brother james you were dressed up for the occasion as much as i love the england top yeah i did like was it a dinosaur what, what were you reffing again uh, so we were so the South Stand at the Sevens in Hong Kong is known for fancy dress and everything. So we went as, uh, as a Jurassic Park theme. Amazing. So I was a bit more low key. James went as like some Velociraptor. Um, <laughs> but I was just as a Sam Neelan character. So. You say Hong Kong Sevens is known for fancy dress. I would suggest all of Sevens. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah I think so. <laughs> you blend I think in. so. Yeah, it's, um, it's definitely been a great, great experience. And then actually on the flight home, um, so I was actually sat in front of uh, Nolly as well on the way here. So oh, that's kind nice. of the link to here. We got nice. talking on the plane. And he said, oh, you should come down to Twick. And I was like, yeah, and now yeah, let's do are. that. So here it's brilliant. Part yeah. of it, part of history. Nolly Waterman, for anyone who, who <laughs> yeah, doesn't sorry, know. Yeah, Just yeah. something, oh, Nolly. Yeah. <laughs> sorry, our first name terms, you know. <laughs> um, and speaking of first name terms, I'm sure you are uh, on those with Sophie Alex Bester, I, I imagine. No, I'm not, to be honest <laughs> not, with you. you no, but I'm, seen, I'm really glad yeah, I didn't wear my sparkling um, silver dress day today. She I think I would have stood out. So yeah, she's she's definitely doing it better than I would. Though. How much are you looking forward to halftime show? You get sort of Super Bowl vibes in terms of. I half think so. Show? Yeah, it's all yeah. part of the fan experience, I think, and that's what's the great thing. You see so many people here coming to games today who may not necessarily have been to Twickenham before, yeah. um, and it's all part of bringing them back as well. And the sun is making an appearance. That's glorious. It's absolutely did, did glorious. Did you see yeah. the game last week in Scotland? Biblical. Was that? I was going to say, was that as cold as it looked on the TV? Yes, right. yes, and, and wet and horrible. Yeah. And now look, you come to England, you get you get a day out for rugby. Yes, yes. I know. Well, Less, with your little girl, yeah. well. it is actually all about making memories. We were just saying, you know, that it's such a dairy crowd here at women's games. Is it special for you to be able to make these memories with your daughter? Oh, definitely, definitely, yeah. because there's. I've been really lucky to be able to do so many cool things in my life, but being able to share it with with my little one 
and now especially as she's got an involvement in rugby she's kind of like she sees this is what i can aspire to and that's that's always the main thing a so future red rose yeah i was gonna say how often on a sunday morning is she dragging you out of bed to get her to rugby <laughs> um well actually her, her her training's on a tuesday night so oh, i get i should get lions apart from games although oh, to wonderful. be honest she should have been playing today um oh. But I did really well, so her classmate who came with me is actually one of the best players on the opposition's team. So, you know, <laughs> even the score a bit. Yeah. Exactly. Look, Oliver, thank you so much for joining us. We'll let you enjoy the rest of your day. Will do. Thanks You're very friends. much. Come on, England. Come on, England. We'll see you soon. You thank can you. I'll go. I'll go. Thank you. Oh, he's lovely, isn't he? I know. Well, no, I was watching and like Harry a grown-up as well. I was yeah. expecting a child still, although Harry Potter was about 20 years ago. When I was watching Harry Potter, I don't think I ever watched it thinking, oh, I'm probably going to have a chat with him one day. That was quite nice, wasn't it, for us all? And it's, it's so good that him and he's here with his family and yeah. watching the girls and, and she's playing as well. And the coaching bit. I love yeah. the coaching bit. She's just sort of dragged. And that's how so many people get into coaching. They're just sort of, they're there. And someone said, oh, you come and help out. And then they love it once they're into it. And you're doing a lot of coaching, aren't you? Bit of coaching, bit of refereeing. Do a bit of everything. Bit of playing, just a little bit of playing. <laughs> we love to see you out there, we do. Um, now, we, we do have, like, gladiators galore. I'm actually, a lot of them are getting some pictures with um, Bugs Bunny <laughs> at the moment. We did just mention that. Have you had your pictures with Bugs no, Bunny yet? No, you have. I have more than one. You, what was I happening earlier? I chased Bugs Bunny down a corridor to get a picture. Probably one of the first people. I've not even put it on my Instagram yet. What? I know. Exclusive that reminds content. Me. I'll do it in the break. I'll yes, do it in the break. I want to see that. <laughs> um, I think our producer is just going to get... Well, we, we're going to be joined not by Bugs Bunny, although that would be fantastic content. Uh, we're going to be joined by Jodie Owsley and Alex Gray, which are another two wonderful gladiators. Uh, you'll know them as Apollo and Fury. Straight in. Hello. Straight in. <laughs> in you come, Jodie. In you come, Jodie. Love Jack, a little Jack. fist bump. Hey, guys. Welcome along. It's a bit loud in here, isn't it? Yeah, it's a bit loud. What did you say? <laughs> Hello! <laughs> I'm like, no, I'm surviving. Are you having a good day at Twickenham so far? Yeah, I mean, the atmosphere so far is like being unreal, so yeah. What's it like outside as you're coming in? Is there a lot, is a lot going on outside as yeah, well? At the a moment? Lot. It's yeah. mental outside as well, so in here it's a bit more like. A bit more chill, and, more and yet chill. it's still so busy in yeah. here. Yeah, Alex, I bet you can't go anywhere without having photos. I mean, you guys were actually flagging down Bugs Bunny just then, but I'm sure everyone is wanting a little picture with you. Well, when you're on the best TV show on Saturday night, very, very modest. modest. I mean, very modest. Uh, no, it's, re it's really, it's really cool. Kind of two for us two, two worlds colliding here with the gladiators and the rugby. Um, it's just great to be here, support the game, um, and I'm really looking forward to it. Yeah, well, it's so good to have you both here. And Jody, we do have to ask. There was a big announcement from yourself yesterday. You're taking a step back from rugby. Just tell us what's contributed to that decision. Yeah, I mean, it obviously was a very difficult decision. I didn't, you know, I didn't take it lightly. But I mean, there's so much that's going on, and there's opportunities coming my way that, you know, a lifetime opportunities that may not come again. So. As much as I love rugby, I think it's sort of the right decision for now. And I'm not saying this is a forever thing. It's just, it's something I need to do for the time being. Um, but obviously I'm going to be in rugby space and support the girls and rugby. I mean, I can't get away from it. So yeah. <laughs> Good. Yeah. Jody, I, I've been there in terms of retirement and yeah. especially that in retirement mid-season sort of thing. Yeah. And I know how much tougher that makes your decision. Yeah. But who was it that was supporting you and helping you get through those tough, really, really tough conversations? Who, who had your back throughout? I mean, my family were massive and obviously my agent, Claire. Um, but yeah, I mean, they, were just, they just helped me sort of get through the conversations. And obviously it's very emotional as yeah. well. So um, it really helps that I had them to fall back on and obviously come to the decision. And obviously it's out there now. And the support has been amazing. So that's really helped as well. And you've got your gladiator family, right? Yeah. Yeah, Alex alongside you. Well. <laughs> I mean, it's so nice to be able to immerse yourself into something totally different. You don't know what opportunities are going to come your way. And are you excited for what the next chapter holds? Yeah, I mean, it's it's kind of crazy, but it's so exciting to think about it. And obviously, like, second season of Gladiators is coming as well. So I think the reaction and how positive it's been, I think we're just all excited for it. Alex. <laughs> well, I was going to go for Alex. Um, you've done rugby, NFL, Gladiators. Not of the then. three, no, not a lot. <laughs> just, just one or two popped in. What's been, what's been the toughest, or, or how are they different? I mean, they're all very different in their, their certain ways. I'm kind of one by one ticking off my childhood dreams, really. Yeah, nice. um, <laughs> hopefully, next one's going to be a power ranger. I'm going to be a power ranger as the next one. Yeah. So you guys are there first. <laughs> uh, that's the only thing I'm left to tick off. Um, they're all very tough in different ways, right? The attrition of rugby week in, week out, the pressure of the NFL, 
um, and us going into like a different, like the entertainment world is, is something new as well, right? But um, it's a, yeah, it's a crazy, a crazy ride at the minute. We're all enjoying it, um, and just you know, Vera was saying she's stepping away from rugby, but to to continue the gladiator thing. But she'll just be inspiring people nonstop, right? Whatever she does. So um, yeah, it's amazing to be on this journey with her, and we're going to try and do as good as we can. Should we get some score predictions? Yeah, I think that sounds good. I just want right, to just to confirm, who are you nice. who are you supporting? Well, I don't know if you can tell, but <laughs> follow. Oh, we've oh, got, names, got, and got names. numbers. They got Jody, their names. Jodie, give us a top. Names and oh, numbers. Like, nice. No, I'm a bit mixed. I can't support one team because I know I know players on both teams, so I'm a bit... Oh, I've got an emotional attachment. I wasn't excited you to say that. I, I, I just like one answer that we wanted, OK? <laughs> <laughs> did, you, did you see the script? <laughs> it's English. Sorry. sorry. Okay? Gosh. The brief was... Okay, classic, now. classic BBC straight down the line, that. <laughs> She's well trained, isn't she? She's well trained. They're doing all right with her. So I'm going to go in then. Alex, score prediction. Um, I'm going to say 32-7 to England. Okay. I think it's going to be a strong win, I do. I think, you know, I've seen the England girls play before. My first time I had a game on TV. You know, they've got it, man. They've got it. Big, powerful pack. They've got good skills out wide. They can score tries. So I'm looking forward to seeing it. Which is always useful in rugby, I find, scoring tries. Jody, score prediction? Come on, Joe. Give know. us an answer. Come on, Joe. Come know. on, Joe. Um, you point me on the no. You, okay, you don't even have to tell us the winning, the winner. Just tell us some numbers. Don't say which way. Just, <laughs> just numbers, and we'll guess which way. Well, I'm just going to say, I think England are going to win. Obviously, it's going to be a great <laughs> game you. of rugby. That's Rugby's going to be the winner. Rugby it like. is going to be the winner. <laughs> <laughs> um, what does the rest of the day look like for you guys? What are you going to do now? Jody's got us into the O2 lounge, so we're about to go fill our boots with free food. Lovely. And we'll watch the game from there, I think. Can we see you in there in a little bit? Yeah, can you save a seat for yeah. us? Yeah, and some food. Yeah. That'd be yeah. lovely. Okay. <laughs> no, like... obviously, we're going to soak it all up and sort of, you know, speak to the kids and stuff who are here. It's just so nice and obviously support the game and watch good rugby, so. Oh, that's so nice. We've already seen you taking lots of photos and they're all lining up waiting to speak to you both. So we'll let you go and enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you so much for joining Thanks, us. Thank you, guys. Awesome. Uh, head, head to stage left, guys. You're free. You're absolutely <laughs> free. Bless them. Uh, now, if you haven't already seen the podcast this week, make sure you do. Make sure you w listen to the whole thing. But right now, we do have a little snippet for you, lucky things. England Rugby Podcast this week, Zoe Allcroft. Luke, who is my fiancé, um, he's uh, obviously very supportive as well. He's very into his rugby, um, coaches Les Tigers. Women, the forwards, we played them actually our first game of the season. Like the week leading up to it, there was all, like a little bit of to and fro, mostly from our families, to be honest. Like, I think they're like, to get in the mix with it, I didn't see him until I was just about to, to go on the game. I had a little chuckle to myself thinking, this is the weirdest thing ever. Because obviously, like, a lot of the time we, like, speak about everything to do with rugby, like, what's gone on in the week, that sort of thing, and we hadn't had that communication that week. It was a little bit weird, and then, unfortunately, I actually got injured in the game. I don't know if he was a bit, like, squirming on the side sort of thing, but, yeah, he came, came and gave me a hug after, and when I was in the physio room, so... That was, that was how that ended, so maybe it's a bad omen that he actually watches me and that we don't speak about it. <laughs> You're listening to the England Rugby Podcast, O2 Inside Line, and I'm Zoe Oldcroft. Zoe Oldcroft there speaking to, to us on the podcast, England Rugby. Do make sure to subscribe and get listening. There's loads of brilliant content all over our social media channels. Now, Shauna, we've had a brilliant list of guests, haven't we? What a I've show! I've not been able to keep count. I've no idea how many people have passed through our doors. I'm just really hoping that Bugs Bunny passes through, just like bounces through. That would I, be nice. I think we could get Bugs Bunny's not allowed to talk. I've heard. However, I still back us as yeah. interviewers to get a good interview out of Bugs Bunny. Yeah, like just get a little hot <laughs> hand waves signal. Yeah. Maybe they can sign. Can they do a thumbs up? I I reckon so. Yeah. Only yeah. like three oh, things. Oh, they can wave. Um, oh 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 surely Bugs Bunny looks like they're having a great day anyway we've just seen a few shots of uh, the players they're warming up behind us you know what's going through their mind right now Shauna um a lot of it will be some of them will be taking it in and and taking that moment to, to, to step back and, and take it in and as they go through it will be what they do normally on match day and as much as this is a very special occasion it's about treating this as any other match day and, and keeping the nerves out. And we know that they've been training this week with noise and crowd noise and there'll be a lot of hand signals because they won't be able to hear. So, yeah, it'll just be about going through their, their, their usual hardcore motions 
um, and being able to bring the same England team that's, that's been winning and smashing it through Six Nations so far. And you say they won't be able to hear, like it is getting louder, the atmosphere is building, which is exactly what these match days are all about. Yeah. But actually in training this week, they've been training with crowd noise. Yeah. So they've been actually getting themselves used to this kind of environment. Yeah, and that, that's the next level and that's where England rugby itself shows its shows how much growth that there is and, and how much thought that there goes into. Like these days don't just happen. This is not just someone saying, oh, do you know what? England needs to play at Twickenham as a women's team. No, like, it's a lot more than that. And, and again, things like having the crowd noise, making sure that there's hand signals and that there's an understanding and particularly your, your, your key players who need to be able to communicate sort of your eight, nine, ten, yeah. having be able to tune into their voices. That's a skill Like you can't, you can't necessarily coach that, but you have to be able to take on as a player, realizing that very one day very soon this sort of crowd numbers is going to be very normal for, for an England match day and we can see right now they're putting their arms around each other they're huddling up this is going to be I guess Marley Packer taking the reins on this chat what do you think she's going to be saying to the team right now I know in Marley it's going to be a very emotional chat it's going to be very loud and it's going to be girls take it in this is our special moment we've got this in the bag we, we've trained hard all week exactly for this moment we've trained all of our lives for this moment and we've done it last week we've done it the week before but actually this is now a step up this is to show England how proud we are and show our families because Marley's obviously a mum as well so that's a huge part of her and yeah Marley will always speak with her heart and, and they'll definitely be getting that from, from them today I mean just listen to this crowd as the team head in to the dressing room we are obviously about 15 minutes to go until this game kicks off and you can just tell everyone is so excited you know they just walk past them and everyone just on their feet, yeah. giving them away, taking photos. It doesn't get much better than this. No, it, I mean, it, it can do if we can get 82,000 in here one day, Good which point. will happen Good for point. the World it Cup. <laughs> it, it, it will happen for the World Cup. But in terms of the here and now, yeah, this this is why you do it. The, the hard days, the, the, the wet days, the cold days, training out in the snow, having to go on runs by yourself to get yourself up and out on a boxing day. It's all about, it's all to do days like this. So as much as we see them now, this is merely the, the icing on the cake. What, what has gone into it before today is is what people don't see and, and yet yeah, living for it. And you know all about that. Just quickly, in terms of the team, who are you most looking forward to seeing out there? Who should we keep, be keeping our eyes on? Yeah, I, I'll always look forward to Sadia Kabea. She's dynamic both sides of the ball and, and so many people are a great attacking threat, a great defensive threat. Actually, she's got both things in her bag and she hits so low and she carries so low, you can't stop her. She's a player, you're just scared when she's around you. Whether you've got the ball or not, if Sadia's around, you're scared. So yeah, my first in the forwards is Sadia. And then we take it to the backs and it's Polly Aitchison blowing the, um, pulling the strings and she's so calm and focused. And, and actually as a person, she's quite quiet, um, but then seeing her thrive and grow on the pitch is, is incredible. And, the difference between her and Zoe that they are different players hence being able to have to make in that choice but to see her go from sort of being at 12 for England moving to Bristol taking that fly half shirt um, and then now being being in a fly half shirt in England yeah she's a she's a, a special player and the likes of Lucy Packer she's on the bench today but again one of those players who she's just you think looking at her people say oh, she's too small to play rugby that's always been but she is an incredible player she will take me down in a training session every day of the week and I am scared, I am scared to run at Lucy Packer because she makes me look small and uh, like a, a not very good player. Um, but her dynamism, her speed of pass, the, how far she can pass, how often she snipes around the ruck and once she's got half an inch of space, she'll, she'll make a line break. Shauna, it's been amazing being alongside you and to get your brilliant insight. I know you know these players are very, very well, which makes our full-time chat even more interesting because we're going to get that exclusive reaction with you, with your old mates. Lucky us. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait. Do make sure to come back and join us after the full-time whistle. Right now, though, get yourselves over to BBC Two and BBC iPlayer. Get watching the game. Cheer on the girls. Come on, England. Good morning. Come on, England. We'll see you later. Afternoon, everyone. Welcome to Twickenham. Welcome to another historic day in the modern history of women's rugby. It couldn't be set any better. They just in. Lovely pass on the outside channel. To Tayana Hurts. Into the corner. It's Packer who's built up the Hennessy. Packer over. Girl Dark still going. Got support if she wants it. Doesn't need it. Oh, breach. Still breach. She's going over for a brace. Oh, what a score from England. Power, power, power. Helena Rowland. She's lightning quick. 
because that's given them the slip down the touchline. She might try and go all the way herself. 